Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edu. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on calculations dealing with protons, electrons, and neutrons of an atom. You know, these three subatomic particles are found in an atom. Now, let's quickly proceed. Now, basically, let's say this is an atom, X. And this atom that is, that is X, here we call it A, and here we call it Z. So the question you ask yourself, what is A and what is Z? Now, A is called atomic mass. And atomic mass is also called mass number. If we don't want to call it atomic mass or mass number, it can be called nucleon number. Okay, I did not say neutral number. I said nucleon number. So, A here can be called atomic mass or mass number or you call it nucleon number. So the question asks itself, what is Z? Z is called atomic number, atomic number, or you say proton number. Atomic number or proton number. Okay, now the question asks itself, how do I calculate the numbers of protons? electrons and neutrons of an atom now it must be noted for a neutral atom there are some formulas you apply to that and also for a charged atom there are some formulas you apply to it now this is what i mean let's say let's say this atom now is neutral a neutral atom is an atom without a charge and let's say this atom is sodium atom this is sodium. Now, sodium has an atomic number of 11. You know, I said the symbol written down here is atomic number or proton number. So, sodium here is, sorry, the 11 here is the atomic number or proton number of sodium. So, sodium has 11 as its atomic number or proton number and 23 at, as its atomic mass or mass number, or you call it nuclear number. You can see here, A means, uh, the A signifies atomic mass, or you call it the mass number or nuclear number. So the question asks itself, how do I calculate the numbers of protons, electrons, and neutron of this sodium atom? Now you can see this sodium atom here is without a charge. So you say it is a neutral atom of sodium. So this is how it works. It must be noted because you can see here now, this is proton, this is electron, and this is neutron. So we can just give it an acronym, which is PEN. PEN, proton, electrons, and neutrons. So the question asks itself, how do I calculate proton number of sodium atom, which is neutral now, electron number of sodium atom, which is neutral, and neutron number of sodium atom, which is neutral? Very easy. So calculate for proton number, for this neutral atom of um, sodium, proton number is saying the atomic number. So it means that proton number is also called atomic number. So we just, read, we just say uh, proton number is equal to the atomic number. Proton number is equal to the atomic number. Now, let's quickly calculate for the electron number. What formula are we to use? Electron number. So it must be noted here that for the electron number of a neutral atom, the electron number is same as the proton number. The electron number is same as the proton number. So electron number here will not be equal to the proton number. It must be noted electron number is same as the proton number for a neutral atom. This atom bears no charge, so it is neutral. So lastly, how do we calculate for neutron number? Now, neutron number is calculated by saying mass number 
because A here signifies mass number or atomic mass or nuclear number minus atomic number. So, how do we calculate for neutral number is by saying mass number. This is mass number minus atomic number, which is a atomic number. So, basically, these are the formulas we apply to solve for the proton number, electron number, and neutron number of an atom that is neutral. You can see this sodium here is neutral, is without a charge. So let's apply what, what we've learned. So let's calculate first for the proton number. So let's calculate for the proton number. I said the proton number is same as the atomic number for a neutral atom. So it means here that where is the atomic number for this atom? This is the atomic number. This is the atomic number, as I said earlier. And this is the mass number. So it means that for our proton number, the proton number is the same as the atomic number. The atomic number is 11. So definitely the proton number becomes 11. So we've, we've solved for the proton number. Now let's quickly move over to the next, which is electron number. Electron number. It must be noted that for, the, for a neutral atom, electron number is the same as proton number. So basically since the proton number is 11, definitely electron number becomes 11. So that is for that. So let's solve for the last, which is the neutron number. The neutron number. The neutron number. It must be noted that the neutron number is calculated by saying mass number minus atomic number. Where is the mass number? The mass number is 23, as seen in this example. Where is the atomic number? The atomic number is 11. So basically, the formula is mass number minus atomic number. Since the mass number here is 23, we write 23 for mass number minus what is the atomic number 11 so definitely we write 11 here so one press a calculator neutral number becomes 12 so you can see basically how to solve the proton number the electron number and the neutron number for a neutral atom this atom is neutral it is it is without a charge so you can see what we apply so let's quickly move over to the next by solving the proton number, electron number, and neutron number for a charged atom. Now, let's say we're given to calculate the proton number, the electron number, and the neutron number for a charged atom. How do we know an atom is charged? Now, let's take an example. Let's take an example. Using same sodium atom. Now, this is sodium atom, Na. Atomic number 11, mass number 23. It must be noted that mass number is called atomic mass or nuclear number. Atomic number is also called proton number. Now, let's say this atom is charged. So I will put plus here. So it means that this atom is already charged. So the question you ask yourself, what will be the proton number for this atom that is charged? What will be the electron number for this atom that is charged? What will be the neutron number for this atom that is charged? Now, it must be noted for a charged atom, we get it, the proton number is gotten as same by saying that the proton number is also called the atomic number. So basically here, I said for a charged atom, proton number is same as atomic number. It does not change. It is the same. Now, how do we calculate for neutron number for a charged atom? It's still by saying mass number minus atomic number the same formula it does not change so definitely there's something that actually changes here and it is basically electron number electron number is gotten by saying proton number minus charge this is the formula used to solve electron number for a charged atom so let's quickly practice this the proton number here, to get it, we just say it is the atomic number. So definitely, proton number will be equal to 11. Because proton number is same as atomic number. So that is why atomic number here is 11. So proton number becomes 11. So how do we calculate the electron number? Recall, I told you guys that for a charged atom, this atom is charged. And it is positively charged. 
A positively charged atom is called a cation because it is positively charged. If this atom was negatively charged, for example, it would be called an anion. But now it is positively charged. So for a positively charged atom or a charged atom, the electron number is not the same as the proton number. The electron number, is by say, if you want to calculate electron number, you say proton number minus charge. The proton number now we've gotten is 11 minus the charge is plus. So here is actually plus one. So minus plus one, that is our charge. So we'll put it in a bracket. So definitely electron number will now be equal to 11 minus times plus. That is minus. So 11 minus one, that is 10. So basically we've gotten 10 electrons. So you can see that for a charged atom, proton number is not same as the electron number. So let's quickly calculate for the last, which is neutron number. Neutron number is calculated by saying mass number minus atomic number. The mass number is 23, as seen in the previous example. So here is 23. The atomic number is 11, minus 11. So neutron number becomes 12. So you can see how to calculate the proton number, the electron number, and the neutron number for a charged atom and for a neutral atom. I believe now you now understand this concept better. So I'm going to put a question here. So you provide it in the comment section below. The question is going to be, calculate the proton number, the electron number for this um, atom. AL2713, okay, the PEN. That means the proton number, the electron number, and the neutron number for this atom. This atom is aluminum. So I believe now you now understand this concept better. Thank you very much. And also share these videos with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Yeah, thank you very much.